Hello! A while ago I did an Ancestry DNA test and I've uploaded it practically everywhere where they allow you to upload it. About October last year I found that Living DNA was letting people upload their DNA and at first I thought that they were going to give Ancestry results and then they said no, they're not going to do that. They're in about a year's time going to let you know what family you've got so you can link people with your uh, family tree and everything. So I waited and it came to August and it said hey good news we've actually combined with, uh, I think it was Find My Past DNA, and we are going to give you an Ancestry result. So I was really excited because I'd waited ages. I'm still waiting because apparently I'm not in the first wave of beta testing. But hopefully, quite soon, I will find out what Find My Past and Living DNA are going to say about my DNA, which is quite exciting. I'm still not sure about the accuracy of things like the ethnicity results, really though, because I've uploaded them very many different places and got quite a range of things, different things. I, on Ancestry, I got mostly Irish and Welsh with a bit of British and then Western Europe about the same level. And then under that, I got some Scandinavian, Iberian, and I got Melanesian, Caucasus, and Native American. Did I get any more? I'm not sure, because my dad got Polynesian and my mother didn't get any non-European at all, according to Ancestry. But then, when I uploaded it to my heritage, she, my mother, suddenly, she got European Jewish, and she also got, well, it was Ashkenazi on that one, and also she got Amazonian, so I'm like, oh, well, maybe that's where the Native American comes from. But I've got the Polynesian, and my dad's got, no, I've got the Melanesian, and my dad's got the Polynesian, but then on other sites, it all alters. I mean, Family Tree DNA, I uploaded it to that, and I've got a bit of North American, a bit of South American, a bit of South Central African, a bit more Middle Eastern, which might sort of tie in with the Caucasus, and a little bit of East Asian, Northeast Asian. So, I mean, they're all very small trace results. So my question really is how accurate are these trace results? Because depending on the panel of DNA that they've got, it varies from place to place. But it fairly consistently says Native American most places, which is quite interesting because my dad and my mother seem to have a little bit of that and they seem to also have a little bit of Oceanic. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, you just got to take that with a pinch of salt means nothing. But does it mean something? Because I was looking on Ancestry and Ancestry says that seven generations back you get no more than about 1% of any particular one relative. And I've got about 1% of each of those ethnicities, maybe a little bit more. So seven or eight generations back, it's quite possible that I did have these ancestors. And I'll tell you why I'm more inclined to believe it now is that I've actually got quite a few relatives that seem to be related to my dad through the Polynesian side. Like they're from New Zealand and Australia and various different places and they've all got Polynesian, quite high percentages of Polynesian, and they also seem to be related in some uncertain way, but related nonetheless. They all seem to be from, I'm not even sure where from, but I'm pretty sure that in about 1840, Something happened and somebody's parent isn't who I've got in the family tree. And that's the interesting thing about family trees. You can try and back up what you've got, but you're not really sure about that. Now, why I'm thinking about this now is I saw a thing this morning uh, that was from a couple of days ago called, I can't remember what it was called, but it was Coronation Street DNA um, Journey. And they all did their DNA and had a little look about what their ethnicity was and then traced their family. And one person got Caucasus, and it said in that that uh, very few people in Britain got the, get the Caucasus. And I got it. I've got at least 1%, up to about 3 or 4%, according to Ancestry. Now, on my heritage, I don't get Caucasus, but I get the Balkans and Greece, which is very, very near, sort of the Georgian area. And then when I go on Jedmatch, it seems to say that I'm some sort of... Um, Georgian, Sephardic, Jew, about 2 or 3%, which is quite interesting. It might be because there's a mixture of, on my dad's side, maybe that, a North African he got a little bit of, and on my mother's side, the Ashkenazi, and then it sort of 
blends together and makes something else. So this is what I'm wondering. How accurate are trace results? And if Melanesia and Polynesia and Native American come up in somebody that is ostensibly completely British, say, how accurate are they? Because on um, GEDmatch, I've also got a little bit of African. About the most is about three or four percent on some of the tests. And you know, that's within the boundaries of, you know, is it or isn't it? But it's consistently, and it's quite hard on, because if you look at the particular DNA, because you get 23, you get 23, <laughs> and um, you, they really look at it. And if you look, if you say, I think the, it says if you get more than 4% on any one particular gene, <laughs> then chromosome, that's the word I'm looking for, then that actually means more. And I've actually got all of these things that I'm not sure about, all these trace results, more than 4%, I mean, on some of them, you know, up to about 20% on some of my chromosomes. It does depend on the test then. Now, all the tests are different, so how accurate are they? This is my question, and I don't have an answer because I've come up with some very different answers from looking around and researching. Some people say, yeah, it's really, if it comes up, then it definitely means something. And some people said, ah, forget that. But also they say on a continental level, it's fairly accurate. So if you get Native American or Polynesian or African or Melanesian or Asian, I've got Asian on some of them as well, and Middle Eastern and Caucasus, then that's on a continental level, not Europe, I'm obviously mostly European and it very, very much varies. On WeGene, which is primarily a site for people of Chinese descent, you can upload it if you're of Western descent and the categories are a bit sort of wonky. It says I'm mostly French and Spanish on that, whereas on other sites, not so much. I, you know, here and there, but it does say on that Native American too and a bit Asian a bit uh, Southern Asian, sort of more um, Burmese sort of area, Tibet, that sort of area. How accurate is this? I don't know. What is clear is that both of my parents have tiny bits of non-European DNA and a sort of mixture of European different, because, you know, Britain, even if you've been here for hundreds of years, there's people coming from all sorts of places to feed into that. But they've both got a bit of non-European DNA and I've got pretty much all of they've got. So it's between, depending on, it does really depend on the, on the, on the different things you do, between about three and actually as high on some of the GED matches, about 25% non-European DNA. But because it's all bits of different things, Right, well, I don't know, but I am looking forward to the living DNA stroke find my past results. Um, hopefully they'll come quite soon and I might make a video about that. So this isn't conclusive. What I want to know is, did you take a test and have you got trace results of different things? Have you backed it up? Have you found any evidence of Native American or Polynesian? Because if I found this Polynesian evidence, I'm not going to completely discount the others. I might actually have Native American. I'm not sure where, because I've got more than my mum. Uncertain. That's all. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>